this video is a continuation of the other one um, that I did some time ago about how to improve the core transitions. And I want to talk to you about how to relax um, your body when you play on the guitar. Okay, so look, let me give you an example. It's a very common scenario. Basically, somebody is trying to play A minor chord, you know, and I can see this um, amongst my students all the time. So they play A minor chord, but actually they press this chord so strong that this chord may go out of the tune. So listen to this. This is kind of normal way, and this is how sometimes people are playing like this. Can you hear? It's literally they drag the strings down, okay, and kind of kind of bend the strings, okay. So clearly. Um, they are pressing too strong, okay? Or some on, on the other, of course, on the other um, hand, you've got the people who are not pressing strong enough. So, you know, you've got um, also the variations. So let's talk about the people who are pressing too strong, okay? So you are tensing basically your body too much, okay? What you are doing, you are trying to press so strong that it causes the strings to go out of the tune, but also what it does, it kind of lock your hand, okay? because you are grabbing this guitar in such a strong way that to go to the next chord you know it takes time to relax the muscles actually and to move the fingers okay so one of the ways to improve the chord transitions is to try to be relaxed if you kind of approach the guitar in a way that you are pressing just enough and i'll explain in a second what i mean by enough it will be much easier to change the chords okay because look my muscles are kind of relaxed Okay, and I'm not really pressing very strong and this is very important. You have to find How much is enough? Okay, so enough is when you play the chord and it's not buzzing. Okay, so what you could do You can try to do this experiment. Just play the chord and um, Try to relax your hand. Okay, a little bit. What I mean is also relax your thumb because you squeeze together the chord with the thumb Yeah, so relax your hand and try to find look this is um this is too much, okay? I relax my hand too much, so I just press a little bit more. And now it sounds alright. But I've got just enough of the tension to keep the string ringing, okay? The string's ringing, so this is very important. You have to find the balance between pressing too strong and pressing not enough, okay? You have to just work on this. So remember, if you feel that you are quickly losing your strength in your hand, and losing your power, and um, it feels like it's almost impossible to go from one chord to the next one. Probably what you are doing, you are pressing too strong and you are kind of locking these muscles, yeah? Because as I said again, if you lock these muscles and you really tense everything, it's very difficult to go to the next chord. So you have to try to be relaxed, okay? And um, this state of being relaxed will improve a lot of your transitions of the chords you know and make your playing more effortless now look second thing is when you play on the guitar try to physically feel that you are relaxing your arms and all your body okay so what's happening when people are playing they play and they play and they are kind of tensing the body especially when you are approaching the problem area going from one chord to the next one that you know that you are not feeling particularly confident okay and you try to tense because you know it's coming it's coming and you go and it's like oops you know it's too late or something you didn't land in a proper way try to relax okay this is the answer this is the solution to all the problems yeah so really try to relax your body relax your arms and then it will um really improve your core transitions and try to practice things slowly at the beginning okay um because um maybe you are trying to play things too quick you know and this is why you're tensing okay it's a bit chaotic um explanation but i hope um you can pick up something valuable for you um from this video okay if you have any questions you can always email me or ask the question on my website or on youtube and i try to help you